Welcome to the NBI.com. This is John's report. It's for the 15th of February. Well, a lot of nonsense. Uh, we came down to the 76%. Finished pretty close to even right in the middle of that run. Um, we're seeing a little bit of softness here in the pre-market. And again, that's just indicative of there just really aren't that many people all that interested in adding to short setups. Uh, we had positive moves from steel, short-term buyers, mid-term buyers, which is interesting. They had such a significant move that and really could move the needle at all. So that lets you know some of the headwinds. So there's still plenty of selling. It's just we're not seeing an active uh, run, so to speak, for the market. We also have shakeout continuance rise. More of the same. Still more bullish than not. From an NQ standpoint, likewise, you can see the same thing. Pretty clear that uh, there's really a limited short activity there. As long as that persists, things are going to continue to ebb the way they are. Uh, Treasury is still way too high, but needless to say, coming down a little bit, uh, increasing the yield fractionally. And I think that you know, the more you see uh, soft economic numbers, you're going to have some people screaming, you know, the sky is falling. Uh, others are going to be more tempered and suggest that, hey, you know, you're going to get that kind of irregularity when you've done this sort of uh, drastic move, um, at least drastic by raising rates, uh, at the same time still spending staggering amounts of money in, in an ever-inflated environment. Uh, it's uh, some wild stuff. Great for the economic books in the future. Well, not really budging much. Uh, we had a bit of a pullback, uh, you know, when they showed the, the increase in inventories. We don't know if that's just a passing thing or if it's the beginning of a systemic start to bleed. And if those start to increase uh, ever more dramatically, then you would expect that economic activity has declined, in which case oil should come down much more significantly. And gold breaking down a little bit, uh, coming off that uh, white MBI lead. Uh, we knew that at 50%, it was going to face a challenge given the uh, continuation of uh, MBI White leading. Uh, we had a brief moment of pop up just around there, which uh, unfortunately wasn't able to close above uh, the 50%, which means got to go. <laughs> at least uh, we expect that either the rising uh, 0% or just a decline in the price is going to reach it. Uh, Pretty weak shift, and it's just an indication that uh, some just don't see inflation on the horizon. What we would equate it more to is the fill of positive extremes, uh, which go back right to here. So, interestingly enough, we can have different views, still come to the same spot. Who's right? Who's wrong? Well, we just know that our positive extremes tend to get filled in those cases. Euro is still doing nothing. And, I, you know, this really is just a question of if there's a fate in the U.S. economy and the Eurozone doesn't think they're getting progressively worse than that, uh, it'll hold up. And from a Bitcoin standpoint, making a little bit pushback towards that same 22, and it Rose up past that uh, negative 13. That's enough uh, to get it going. That's what we were talking about. Uh, ETH had already had that. Uh, we'd already seen it staying above the negative 13. And so they gave it a little bit stronger impetus. And of course, uh, my TS had crashed right before I was doing this. So my 50K and 5K are not yet up. What a surprise. I'm sure it will be in a little bit, but for now, um, you know, if you look at the chart, it was super clean. Uh, I was looking at it uh, before it crashed on me, and we had a very nice day of uh, clean up and down. And I think this kind of regular roll is more symptomatic of uh, algorithm trading rather than, you know, uh, people jumping on bandwagons. So we'll see if that makes any changes going forward. But for now, we've got it under control. As always, the trade well. Talk to you later.